Okay, folks, let's see if we can make this one come up a treat, even though it's a difficult one. Let's see how we go. Okay, let's see what we've got here. We've got here a pair of spectacles. So yeah, let's see how we go with these. I'm gonna put them in the A5 area. Oh. And put a piece of paper behind. Yeah, they're a bit easier, more defined than I thought they'd be. The frames look really nice. Uh, do you think maybe I'll move them down a bit or maybe leave them like that? Maybe lighten it up a bit. Maybe move them down a bit. It's really difficult trying to get them in the right place. Yeah, unfortunately I've pushed them too far to that edge, uh, I do think. I moved them too close to the edge. Yeah, that's better. We've got it nicely in the middle now. Um, wondering if we can lighten it further. Maybe lighten it further or maybe not. Oh, fuck it. We're going to keep it like that. Yep, that's the end of that one. Donate those. They can be read. They can be donated. Uh, I do think. 
So we're going to utilise this one. So we're going to move it around. Oh, we've got it on too light. Just going to take out some of the lightness. We don't want it to turn wishy-washy. That's come up looking really quite interesting. It's a bit dark. Uh, I do like this section here, the colour in that. That colour looks a bit dark. Uh, I do think we could do a better job of this. Yeah, that looks better. The colour in that looks nice, nicer. Looks like I still need to do more work on it. Uh, maybe we could lighten it a bit. Yeah, spectacles are notoriously difficult ones to make into a really good presentation and that's come up looking better. The colour in that is a lot nicer. Uh, still could do with a better job of that. Uh, Yeah, that's pretty much what we want in this. This is it. So that was our last one before it. And this is this one now. So we're going to utilise that as another part of the movement. Uh, I think we've done that. So that's our piece there. Um, we're going to utilise this. Going to move it around in a different way. Yeah, that's come up looking quite a treat actually. Looks really chaotic but really nice. Uh, So this is it. Yeah folks, I'm missing my lost partner Luigi. And I'm trying to get on the uh, 6 o'clock news on Channel 9 to get my work out there. And as well as you know, to get in touch with my partner and to also uh, get recognised as a, a photocopier artist. Uh, trying not to focus on what I can't do I'm trying to focus on what I can do I really want to do that
really need to get in touch with my partner Luigi otherwise I'll get really lonely without him and it really hurts to be separated from someone that you actually love and it's Christmas you know I've got my Christmas hat on yeah yeah I look really festive I've got a fan going it's a hot Aussie day uh, in good old Sydney Australia and yet I still feel really lonely and desolated looks interesting I don't like the look of that the color and that some ways I like and other ways I don't but I really get lonely without my partner and I really need to get in touch I really need to find where he is I don't want to be on my own anymore I don't want to be sleeping in a fucking single bed like the song you know the song called single bed Ugh, stupid song but yeah it's like that singledom is really quite dull it is it's dull it sucks it's not it's only good if it's compared with a bad relationship and I've had heaps of those uh, I had one relationship that lasted nearly three years and it was like hell on earth this guy was so obsessive and possessive everything had to be his way or he'd get angry at me and he was sexually abusive as well and that was a typical hallmark in almost every relationship I've had so Luigi's different he's not like that he's not an asshole he's not a fuckwit he's a true loving man and I really miss being really wish I could be with him I'm gonna pull it up I wonder why I'm pulling this up Not quite happy with what we've got. Um, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna take it back to this one again. Going back. So we're just gonna put these aside, and I'm gonna try some more work on it. But I'm really missing my partner Luigi, and I need to get in touch. So I'm trying to get in touch with the six o'clock trying to get on the six o'clock news on channel nine in order to get in touch with him and get my art recognized so I don't have to have to be a taxpayer's burden I'm on the disability support pension because I'm disabled when I was born I had a quarter on my neck and I came out breech uh, but that wasn't that hasn't been diagnosed but I've got another diagnosis that that gives me my center link and this is the part we want so I have, I have another diagnosis that I have that's actually a diagnosis but I can't disclose it here because it basically carries with it stigma and I'm really ashamed of it uh, and I'm worried that it may mean that people won't take me seriously if I talk about it out here on the news but I also believe I have high functioning autism but I consider that more of an asset than a problem. Uh, even though it was a problem at school because I got teased and bullied mercilessly. But I'm not going to allow my disabilities to determine my future. I do want to uh, make something of my talent as a, uh, a photocopier artist. And my dad and my brother don't like my photocopier art they're, they're on the evil side they're, ev they're teasers and bullies there too, they don't care about me, they're just shitheads so and that's coming up looking good so far, it's starting to look good I just need to enlarge it more on the maybe on the horizontal
I'm just going to move it across a little bit. But yeah, I want to be recognised for what I can do, not what I can't do. I don't have the ability to learn enough. You know, I can't go to TAFE. I can't learn new things very well. I can't hold down a job in a normal employment. I have to work in an Australian disability enterprise to make some extra money on top of my pension to keep this campaign alive. And I really don't enjoy my life as being on Centrelink and working at this job. Don't get me wrong, the people at the work are, on the whole are really, really nice, but I really don't, you don't earn much money focusing on what you can't do, and that's what I have to do when I'm working, is I have to focus, I have to consider what I can't do before I can make, and we get basically, we our wage is based on what we produce, not a, not some fixed award wage and I'm too slow and, um, and error prone to work in a normal job uh, so I have to consider what I can't do in my limitations so that I get paid accordingly because I'm really slow I really for some reason I'm really slow at, at my job and I also make lots of errors and if I can't concentrate I can't multitask I have to be careful not to talk because I tend to forget about my job and I really struggle with that sort of shit, folks. But I'm not going to let my disability determine my fucking future, folks. It's up to you, Channel 9. You've got the power. You've got the place. I need your help to get my material up there on the 6 o'clock bulletin so I can get in touch with my partner, Luigi, and also get recognised as an actual artist and get paid as an artist not making not losing money every time I press that button so you know and having to stack all my artwork in boxes not doing anything no galleries or anything so enough of that and that's come up looking quite a treat I think we can now call this demo quits <laughs>